Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing beautifully well. For today's valued viewer request, we've got from Joe Valicenti. Would you recreate slash prove George Burling's flying a Spitfire shootdown of a Messerschmitt BF-109 at 800 yards over Malta? Is that long of a deflection shot even possible in DCS? George Frederick Buzz Burling, DSO, DFC, DMM and Bar, born December 1921, died May 1948, was the most successful Canadian fighter pilot in the Second World War. Burling was recognised as Canada's most famous hero of the Second World War, as the Falcon of Malta and the Knight of Malta, having been credited with shooting down 12, 27 Axis aircraft in just 14 days over the besieged Mediterranean island. That's amazing if that's real. Before the war ended, his official total climbed to either 31 or 31 and a third, whatever that means. Burling's wartime service was terminated prior to war's end. In an attempt to continue combat flying in the post-war era, Burling lost his life in a crash while attempting to deliver an aircraft to Israel. How interesting. I bet that's, even that's a really interesting story. Because a lot of these spits, I remember, went to, went to uh, Israel, didn't they? There's lots here to read if you want to come and read it, and I'll link this link in the video description. Burling had his baptism on fire in mid-morning of, of 12th of June when flying a Spitfire with three other pilots from 249. The formation intercepted eight BF 109s. Berlin claimed to have blown the tail off a B 109 but nobody saw it hit the ground so he was credited with a damaged after that, Berlin claimed a series of kills that had no equal on the Mediterranean island. On 6th of June 1942, with other pilots from 249, he attacked a formation of three Cant Z-1007 Biz, 14 Reggiana RE-2001s, and more than a dozen uh, Marchi C-202s. He almost certainly shot down the Sargente Francesco Pacciari from the... 352nd Squadra Reliali. It's going to get all very Italian now by the sounds of it. Then he claimed another Marchi that crashed near Zayton. Likely the Reggiani of that place there. 152 Squadriani. During this fight, the Italians claimed two Spitfires, one a Furio near Clodaglio, that Berling would kill three weeks later. REF suffered no losses, but Berling's aircraft was badly shot up. However, he made a third claim that day, a Messerschmitt hit from a distance of 800 yards. So he's not just saying he hit it, he's saying he actually killed it. He made a cl third claim, yes, yeah, so that's a kill claim of 800 yards. Let's go and see if we can do that kind of shot in DCS. Myself and RC are going to be our Canadian wonder. We're in a pair of Spitfires and the baddie is at a massive 800 yards, 2,400 feet, which I think is an impossible shot. I just don't think it's doable in front of us. Now, the way that we're going to do this, RC, is just make sure we maintain our speed. As long as you maintain your speed and don't do anything silly, then we'll maintain 800 yards. If you look down at your speedo, you'll see exactly 300 miles per hour. And we've got to shoot him, and I can't think of anything else, so are you ready, RC? Okay, so 300, turns out that was wrong, so I guess about 240 then. Right, 240. And what's the baddie? 240. Okay, I'm at 240, I'm watching the baddie. I've got everything perfect, RC, I've got everything perfect. Okay, step on the ball, step on the ball, ball stepped on. I've got perfect 240, I'm straight. Here we go, I'll see. Get some. Got him. Oh, I've got the wrong, yeah. I've got the wrong, you know, whatever the distance is called, where the bullets merge. They're merging before him, and then they're hitting him on their way yeah. back out. So, sorry, what's that word when you set uh, the range of your guns? Convergence range. There we go. I just need to sort of trim everything out again. 240. Neutralise the slip. There he is. I get him again. That's the problem. So he must. Uh, so like Auntie says in the stream, he must have had his guns calibrated to converge at 800 yards. Is what we think. You can't get. You can't adjust to 800. Not in DCS. You can't. Yeah. In the real one, you can do whatever the hell you want. So for us, this isn't really possible. But look at the bullets. Yeah. They're merging and then spreading out again before they even hit him. But for him, it'd be a lot easier, I guess. I don't think I can do yeah. this. Right. 
kill him. I'll be all day trying to kill him. Oh, he just lost his piece out. I would have run out, run out of ammo ages ago. Oops, there he goes. Okay. Ha. I mean, I don't. I didn't have that amount of ammo. I put infinite ammo on this because I knew it was going to be a stress. Um, and he's finally down. And that was actually really hard. Do you want to have a go, RC? See if you can do it. Two for you set up. Get your uh, trim set up. Get your slip set up. And give him hell. I can see your bullets diverging. I think. Yeah, they're crossing about halfway, RC. Yeah. They're crossing at about 400 yards, so it's, it's almost impossible to hit him. And your bullets are all going beside him. Only the occasional fluke will actually hit him. <laughs> okay. So what we found there, valued viewers, in case you weren't listening, was that our gun conversions were set way too far before. So by the time the bullets are actually getting to him, you can kind of see it there. By the time our bullets are getting to him, they're actually spreading outwards again. And the only bullets that actually hit him are just kind of lucky bullets that have gone uh, off course. So in DCS, you can't do it, basically, unless you're the luckiest man in the world, because you just wouldn't have enough bullets. So we think the um, that our chap Burling had his guns recalibrated for 800 uh, yard convergence and that's how we can get these long kills. Even with that, I think it's still be quite a difficult thing to do with these guns. <laughs>